The value of experiential learning has been recognized for centuries. How often has a friend or a colleague expressed to you that they learn better by actually doing? Here at Shelter Institute, we've brought our own unique approach to experiential learning since 1974. As a teenager, I often assisted my parents in the classroom and in their workshops. And back in 1985, at the end of an engineering lecture called Bending Moments, where my mom, Patsy Hennen, teaches the students how to calculate the size of a piece of wood needed to carry a particular load, a college student turned to one of his friends in the class and said, I just spent five months in a class trying to learn what she just taught in four hours. At Shelter, we teach trigonometry, engineering, and calculus. Students learn the physics of materials, the principles of thoughtful design, and how to integrate that design and aesthetic with the function of a house. We do all of this within the context of designing and building a real structure, providing students with the framework with which to approach house building. If you could see how engaged students are during the class and the pride that they take in what they learn and what they build, you not only will want your own students to take the class, but you're gonna to wanna to take it yourself. Experiential learning has been debated, researched, promoted for troubled kids, and often considered an alternative to classroom learning. Here at Shelter, it works for all students, young, old, gifted, bored, rebels, it is impossible not to get involved in our classes. Our class is a stepping off point from which students have gone on to careers in design, architecture, engineering, and house building. The class demonstrates the why, so students want to learn the how. The following is one of our classes in action. North Haven High School students came to take a week-long class at Shelter, and they built a beautiful timber frame addition to their island school. It's just really fun to work with wood. It's nice to do something that's extremely hands-on where what you're learning is what you're actually doing in the moment. Every year we go at the high school on a fall expedition, um, but this year we decided to do something a little bit different. Our science teacher and math teacher, uh, John Dieter, spent a sabbatical year in 2004 and he came here during that. I took a week-long timber framing course here, and I knew that a Shelter Institute had amazing instructors. They're experts in what they do. <clears throat> well, I'm, my name is Pat Hennen. Uh, my wife and I founded the Shelter Institute in 1974, and we've been teaching people ever since how to design and build energy-efficient homes. And this class that we have here this week are from North Haven, and they've come here to cut out their own uh, classroom. We configured it in such a way that students could create a substantial, real, and identifiable part of the project, not just carving like a couple of the beams, but they're carving an entire building. So our goal this morning, and we're on a very aggressive schedule to get this timber frame done by Thursday afternoon, which is when we need to get ourselves and the timber frame on the ferry, um, is to get them to cut all of the timbers to length by lunchtime. Now we don't use power saws in classes. And we don't allow any apprentices to use power saws. Everybody uses hand saws. Because if a hand saw goes like this, crooked, you've only got this much of a mistake. But if you take a power saw and go, the entire end of the beam is shot. Since 1974, we've been teaching this particular class four times a year. And in all that time, only once did somebody cut a beam too short. Would you do that? Cut it, in, cut it again? Well, he's very... <laughs> <laughs> this expedition and these kind of projects aren't just projects for vocational students or, you know, someone who's been labeled as a problem and can only be doing, you know, a certain kind of programming. All of our students are here, and that includes students who will go on to, I'm absolutely certain, will go on to Ivy League schools. So we feel very strongly that all of our students should be doing hands-on work. When you have a part in building something, you gain this level of respect for it that you could never have. Um, even just being here for three days, I mean, I don't think I'll ever go into a building and look at it the same again. And so I tell my friends from away, and they're like, oh, you get to do that like at your school? Like, that's so cool. And I'm really proud to be able to say that I can do that and that my school does support this kind of thing. Right now we're being asked by our accrediting agency to focus on 21st century skills and those include things like being able to be a problem solver and to work actively in groups across networks 
and to be able to be an effective communicator. The big sort of buzz phrase is 21st century learning skills, and that's exactly what this is. We were in the classroom for like an hour, and then we came out here, and they split us into, I think, five groups, and um, we all were given different tasks to do. Now we're making um, different types of mortises through all of the, all of the beams and the posts. We're going to have you sign those. But if you make mistakes for the next 300 years, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. people will know. Your, your great grandchildren will come and see that mistake. I think the first thing that they learn in this kind of work is the value of patience. And uh, when they saw those chisels and those saws, they couldn't wait to grab them and just pitch right in. And right away, they saw all kinds of mistakes and roughness and uh, very quickly learned that uh, slowing down and really thinking about the objective. Gaius, who's a you know certified engineer, um, he took us through the series of load calculations that you need to do to figure out how big the beams need to be so they can withstand the different stresses that are on them. Shear and weight, wind and live loads and dead loads. A brilliant exposition on his part of all of the step-by-step -step calculations that need to go on. It was pretty complex stuff. Lita is, is more of that traditional kind of academic student and she absolutely loved this experience. She did see that math was involved and design was involved and elements of that sort of more traditional education came alive for her in a way that she never expected. You know, she's very proud of the, of the, you know, the cuts on her hand and things like that because they're evidence that she worked hard. Yeah. There you go. All right, yeah. man. That's going. Now it's going in. <laughs> Perfect. Everyone worked their pat, Ethan, Blueberry, and, uh, and Gaius were just like, here's your tool, let's have at it. And they showed us what to do, but they weren't like, oh, let me do that, you know. Students are using tools in there that, that can, you know, shave the hair off the back of their hands. And they're doing it safely. And Shelter Institute has provided the instruction they need to be able to do that safely. But almost more importantly, the students are being trusted and respected to do the things that they need to do. And that's something that I think in education is more and more rare. I knew it was gonna be hard, but I think just doing this stuff, it's just, it makes it fun. Just, just doing it makes it fun. I think my favorite part is when um, we were carving a through mortise and you just come to the point where you're just all the way through the board and you get so excited. You spend so much time carving through this eight inch, this eight inch board and you're finally through it, which is exciting. The weakest part of your spine is this part right here. So it doesn't have anything else attached to it, the lumbar spine, because it doesn't have a rib cage or anything or, or hips or anything attached to it. You want to be straight up and down. You want to lift by going straight up like that. Doing this kind of work pays dividends throughout the school year in terms of how kids feel about their education, how connected they feel with their education. Two, three. Go Hawks! Good work. Another six inches. This building is going to be here in 50 years. And, uh, and so many nice children. Nice. And you can say to them, I worked it. And, I raised it. And I, <laughs> and I, I, and I carved it. That's kind of cool, yeah. And it was done in the right way. So I think that kids here really feel ownership and they feel a part of this building and they understand it. And it's, it's kind of crazy to like see it all if you like take a step back from it because you can like be really into what you're doing and not really see what's around you but then if you take a step back and look at what everyone is doing you really see how the building is going to come together and it's crazy like it's it's incredible and just look at it that's such an amazing building and you know people come in here and they just go oh my god it's so beautiful i mean i you know, I really, for the first few months of the I just kind of just love to look at the curves. And... It's an awesome experience. Like, words can't describe how awesome it is. Contact us at Shelter Institute 
to learn more about bringing this program to your students. We teach at our location or yours and we'll tailor the program to fit your needs. Thank you.